Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us now. And Natalie, we are keeping an eye on some showers in the area right now, but also tracking the tropics. The tropics, that's been a big talker across town for sure. And we're going to continue to watch that, especially as there's the potential for some development as the week goes on. So let's head on over to the weather wall and get you ready for the work week, not only when it comes to our local rain chances, but to the development we have been tracking. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is giving this very disorganized area in the central tropical Atlantic a 50% chance in the next seven days days that there could be some type of development. So that potential is more so towards the end of this week for potentially a tropical depression in this region. That means it could form as early as out here or as late as up here. That's kind of what this hatched area means. But as far as our modeling or a consensus is thinking, let me walk you through a few models. The European, one of which has been a little bit more consistent as far as trying to develop something near the Greater Antilles later this week, but it wants to still recurve just east of the Sunshine State. This would actually be our best case scenario because that would actually put us on the significantly drier side of any type of potential tropical development before absolving it into portions of the Carolinas by early next week. Now for the GFS, our American global model, it's almost agreeing up until it gets to the point of Cuba and parts of the Bahamas. Then it has been still struggling to even form anything when all is said and done, but it's wanting to take that core development more so into the Gulf of Mexico. So we have models that are really flip flopping on us. Not quite a much of agreement as we'd like, but again, we also don't have a system to grab onto in the Atlantic. So we still have quite a bit of time frame that we have to watch for any type of pot potential development, especially once we get an invest, which is something that our models can investigate. Then we'll have a better idea of what our models are going to be giving us as far as timing and of course those impacts and placement right now. Now, it's battling a lot of wind, it's battling a lot of shear, and it's battling a lot of dust still in portions of the Atlantic. But as we trek our way into August and, of course, make it towards September, that is the statistical peak of hurricane season, and we still have a whole lot of that to go through. We typically see the most development, especially increase through August into the month of September and early October. So we'll be here in the Weather Center keeping a very close eye on that.